be drawing this Baltimore Oriole from the slideshow and I put it on my phone so I can have it small here beside me. Um, you might have a pencil at home that has a black eraser just like we did at school um, and if you don't that's okay because you know what a lot of artists don't have a black eraser and they just learn to draw lightly. So if I was going to block out this um, Oriole I notice a circle head and this body has a very large oval. So whatever bird you're looking at, you're kind of looking at what size is that body. And then I like to look at the head versus the chest here. And I notice that it kind of, um, there's a line here where the, the head and the front of the body kind of line up. And I notice that this line is very smooth. So I'm drawing very lightly right now until I get the line just where I want it and then I'm going to adjust it. And this line goes right down and right into his tail, which kind of sticks off to the side. This comes up, and then this big wing is covering up quite a bit of it here, where the tail and the body come together. It comes down. Now, I'm pretty happy with the basic size. We want to draw nice and big on our page, and I might Go ahead and draw in this branch. This is a very funny crooked branch. And it kind of comes up and over and circles back around. So we want to make sure that the branch, when you draw that in your drawing, that it goes off the page. Because if it stops, it'll look like your bird is just floating in the air on a branch. And then we see a little bit of its legs. I might need to bring my body up just a little bit to have that sitting on the branch. As I notice how the leg comes down and then it goes on the branch. So I'm going to adjust some lines here, make sure that branch still makes sense. But I want this leg to come down a little bit. And then to make their um, claws, if you just make a little moon shape. There we go. And then I see a little moon over here. My branch is a little bit thicker than the one in the picture. There we are. And then I see the beak. That's going to make this look more like a bird. And the eye. Do your best drawing on the bird. Um, and don't get too stressed out if it doesn't look just like the picture. Sometimes um, it's fun just to kind of see what do your eyes see. Our drawing is just a, a record of what it is that we're looking at. This is an interesting, I like the way that orange and black kind of come through. Let's see if I can make this look more like feathers. So this line, I see short feathers here. So I'm going to include some short round lines. And then the feathers on the wing are much longer. So I'm gonna make some long lines here and then they get a little bit shorter. So lots of detail. Part of it is that I see this white and black. Then I see some shorter feathers. I see some long feathers on the tail. And I'm going to take my eraser, kind of clean up some more areas. And I don't need that circle that I had to start. All of this is going to be black. Some of your birds might have some different um, spots where you see stripes of color and you can draw those lines in because then when you go to color it, it's a little easier. Our goal is to make it look like the bird we're, we're seeing. So it's really good for artists to spend some time trying to draw what it is they see. Sometimes we do abstract work, sometimes we do imaginative work. This drawing is all about trying to show what we see. Here we go. When you're happy with your pencil sketch, and I'm getting, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out right now. Maybe just a few more adjustments. You're gonna take a picture in Seesaw and show me what you made.